And then finally, 12, final 12 o'clock game. Um, I understand this is not a playoff-eligible football team, but it's my Gators. I'm going to talk about them. Uh, Arkansas is 2-6, and six, and they're traveling to Florida, who's 5-3. and three. Florida favor 3.5 points on ESPN2 if you want to watch this game. K.J. Jefferson's gone 143-219, thrown for 1,547 yards, and 14 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. And this is for bowl game lives, is what Arkansas is fighting for here. Rashad Dubinion has had 79 carries for 260 yards and a touchdown. And Andrew Armstrong has had 43 catches for 520 yards and four touchdowns. Graham Mertz for the Gators gone 195 to 257, thrown for 2,127 yards, 14 touchdowns, two interceptions. Montrell Johnson Jr. has had 94 carries for 520 yards and four touchdowns. And Ricky Pearsall has had 50 catches for 718 yards and three touchdowns. Florida's 10 and two against Arkansas all the time. Last game did go to the Gators in 2020. Arkansas has never went on the road and beaten Florida and Gainesville. Never beaten them in the swamp. Um, I think what's really, if you're looking at it, interesting here is Arkansas is coming off a bye, so they've had so long to prepare for this game. And Florida's coming off a tough loss against Georgia, right? That was a, they got their butts kicked. It was, it was a rough one, considering a lot of people had them as a trendy upset pick in that game, my, me included. Um, Georgia really came out and showed them what was what, and really proved that they were the better the best team in the east um we'll, we'll we'll get to that a little bit later there's a big game happening at 3 30 it's a officially brew who's the best in the east but um it's this is a big game for florida right this is a big bounce back game they're gonna be underdogs in every single one of their games from now on because the next couple games are at lsu at missouri and then fsu at home right it's a big game to get the ball eligibility if you're a gators fan because you're gonna be underdogs in the next three and sure, you can pull off the up. One, I could see us pulling off one or two of those upsets, but you need to get the win here so that you don't have to need to pull off the upset. Um, I think Graham's going to want a bounce back game. I feel like Montrell's going to want a bounce back bang game. I feel like this whole team's going to want a bounce back game after making some big time mistakes against Georgia and really getting their butts kicked. I like Florida to win and cover at home. Plus, they're at home. Florida always plays really good football at home.